subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. My name is Natalie Leenders, and I'm a Power Platform Analyst. So when I first joined IT, the Power Platform didn't exist yet. So it wasn't really my choice, like within 10, 15 years, I want to be a Power Platform Analyst. However, I started learning SharePoint, so SharePoint Designer, workflows, doing InfoPath forms, and that gradually rolled into the Power Platform. So I did Power BI. Because of my Power BI experience, somebody mentioned to me there was an opening within the automation team. And that's how I got to know the Power Platform. So it wasn't really for me a, a fixed way that I wa wanted to do this, but I'm really happy and thankful that I did. So the Power Platform exams or any Microsoft exam, basically, they require you to have real life experience with the product. So I would say get a developer environment, get to know what you're studying for actually explore um, explore workflows, explore creating an app and get to know it and then do practice exams and uh, Microsoft learn paths, talk to other colleagues or other peers that are that are also involved in in the power platform and look at YouTube creators such as April Dunham, Christ Christine, Kolitsiski, Shane Young, there's so many out there that can actually help you in preparing for the exam. There's also things out there such as LinkedIn learning paths, Microsoft learning paths, Udemy courses, instructor-led courses. So there's, there is so much that I can really uh, encourage you to try. So I don't really have five most important skills to be a Power Platform Analyst. I would say there's only three that I can think of. So be open to learn new things. With a Power Platform, it's constantly evolving. It's constantly changing. So be ready to constantly learn and grow and experience new things. And you know, that's what I would suggest. Then on the uh, analytical side, because the because the Power Platform is very, very lo logical based. So be able to, uh, to analyze business processes, look at the overall picture when designing a, a s solution for somebody and really dive into the requirements and see if the Power Platform fits. So as I said, the Power Platform is constantly changing. So the way that I keep up with it is I join all of the community calls at aka.ms slash community rocks, which are weekly calls where they, where they, where they talk about upcoming, uh, upcoming releases and how, the, how it actually works. And it's, uh, it's, it's pre really interesting. Then you can, you can also sign up for virtual days. These are free Microsoft learning days where you can, uh, also get free vouchers for for exams, but also get some uh, some real experience from Microsoft experts. Beyond that, I would say uh, watch YouTube videos, as I mentioned, from Shane Young, Christine, April Dunham, uh, Daniel. There's so so many out there, and just reach out, especially on Twitter. The the community and new releases are really big on Twitter. So I would definitely recommend you uh, check it out there. So once you've done some Power Platform exams, you can of course become a Power Platform analyst, you can become an architect, or you could go to the Dynamics 365 route, or if you go from Dynamics 365 to the Power Platform, they are really connected with with each other so that's also a, a po possibility or you can become a trainer or you can even speak at events i mean there's so so many different things out there and who knows maybe if you do a project for somebody in a specific type of industry that's really interesting to you 
you can also grow there and get to know different companies and different businesses. So all of the Power Platform exams, I would say don't be afraid to reach out to somebody for help. The material can be a little bit tricky. I myself started with PL400, which is Power Platform Developer, which, uh, which is an exam on extending the Power Platform and actually integrating different code components. So I would say not, not start with that one, but go for the fundamentals. And, and uh, it's okay to acknowledge that you need help and sparring, sparring with somebody can, can really help in understanding the material before you, be, before you do the actual exam. And my biggest tip for, for all of the exams and getting to know the, the Power Platform in general is take your time. Look at all of the videos, all of the training materials, the community, blog posts, there is so, so much out there. So have fun. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.